L O V E P O E M. He had L O V E tattooed across his clenched right fist, followed by P O E M etched in a vagabond's quill across the other, and with his fists coming out to in unison, he copped a taste of his love poem. He walked the good lines of this world, straightening them out with a little love poem. My old man fixed the world with his fists. In his memory, I have a little love poem. He'd start out with the poem, and then he'd flourish it with some love, his one, two, two, one strategies, with his bloody tattooed gloves, he no longer used his real name, just a combination of slugs. Love, poem, love, poem, poem, love, love, poem, love, poem, poem, love. This hard quick world could use some tenderizing with a little love, poem, love, poem, love, poem. It reflects on a moment where um, I was sitting in the South Brisbane pub waiting to meet someone and uh, there were two gentlemen at the bar that they had quite a few and they were arguing and, and one of them said, look, my, my old man fixed his fists with the world and I turned out pretty well. He was trying to justify domestic violence and that. So I always carry my journal with me. That, that line, that scene, created an entire short story, I suppose. Um, Love poem works very well, especially like when I go into schools, mm -hmm. working with kids. When I started writing, sending out my work to be published, uh, pretty much the feedback I got about my prose was, uh, was terrible. Don't send us any more prose. But uh, a couple of editors at really good magazines took the time to write back to me and say, look, your short stories are terrible, but there is poetic, there's poetic there's form poet existing in some of the lines. Mm. Take those lines and remould them and see what you can come up with. So I did that. I went home and uh, looked at my dad's library, found some contemporary Australian poets, and probably within about six weeks, I had about four publications in magazines. So. Um, I went back and restructured sort of the path that I, that I wanted to do with writing. The prose poem is becoming more accepted uh, down, down south in uh, Melbourne mainly. There's, uh, there's groups of writers that are doing flash fiction, which is short. Yeah very short uh, bits, pieces of prose that are very poetic, so I'm slipping into that quite well. A lot of my writing starts in this area. This area and the river? Yeah, I'm, I'm brought back to it a lot in my work. It, I don't know, it just, it really just happens. works well for me. We had a good long connection um, with this area. My, my auntie being in the, the South Australian Ballet Company, the Australian Ballet Company, when, when she sort of hung up the ballerina shoes, she would still come over here and, and work as a consultant mm -hmm. um, with certain productions in Bangara. There used to be a, a very large itinerant uh, community, indigenous community that would sort of be sleeping under the bridges down here. Um, my grandparents used to do a bit of a night patrol, you know, now and then uh, and the police would bring the young rookies down and throw the old people into the river at night. Um, and yeah, you, you, you grow up knowing that. Um, the administration at the time wasn't exactly um, straight. Um, and look, wherever you get uh, colonisation, you will get that, uh, that flux, that, that, um, that bad element. It's not supposed to, to go smooth. Back in the day, before South Bank, before Expo 88, it was a pretty, pretty bad mm. old spot. My uh, nan was an Isis shucker in one of the 
the sort of factories along River Hill. It's, um, I mean, back in the day, it really was a bad part of town after night. Um, a lot of the indigenous community lived uh, on this side of the river. The, the pubs, all down that way, a lot of the black pubs, they were pretty nasty pieces of work, those areas. So, uh, but there, there is something quite uh, inspirational that I, that I get from those stories. Um, looking back on, on the past, how this area has evolved. We need places like this, as opposed to a, a cultural heart of the city, to, from a site like this, we can, I suppose, evaluate how we're evolving as a community, as an artistic community.